Some of those fortunate enough to lift themselves out of poverty never look back. But a hero is the person who returns to those still struggling and offers them a helping hand. Our next honoree has gone into a place so horrible you, you have to see it to believe it and has brought with her the gift of hope. Here to tell you her story is UNICEF Ambassador Lucy Liu. Good evening, everyone. Somewhere in Cambodia, packed garbage trucks pull into a municipal trash dump. In many countries, what we often see next are swarms of birds surrounding those trucks. In Cambodia, we see children. This place is a hell on earth, where the smoke rises from the papers, rotting vegetables, and plastics. The terrible smell blows north, south, east, and west. And in the middle of all that horror, little children wander and work. They work for hours, sifting through the trash to earn enough money to buy a bag of rice. This terrible job is all they know. The way they live made our hero, Pimi Nguyen, weep. She wept after meeting these children for the first time when they fought over the chicken bones she threw out in the trash. She listened to how they lived and understood their struggles. She understood because of what she'd been through. Many in her family were killed in the Pol Pot genocide, and she was left alone at 15 when her mother died of cancer. But she knew that if she could get an education, her life would turn toward grace, and it did many times over. That is why she decided to build the children who work at the dump a school of their own. So now, at the base of that massive mound of trash and smoke, is a place where children can learn and dream of something better. Stung Mian Jai is the largest trash site in Phnom Penh. There are about a couple thousand families living in the area. They solely depend on the trash dump site for living. Most people work a 10 to 12 hour shift and only make a dollar a day. Some of the kids that I've met are only four or five years old. I go to the dump site every day and pick up kids or talk to their parents and convince them to let their kids come to school. My name is Pai Mian Nun, and I created a school for the children that pick up trash in Stung Mian Jai. Currently, we have about 600 students we help out every day. We feed them and supply all the books and pencils. Everything is free. I want to change the kids' lives so they can have a future. I tell them when I was young, I had my own hopes and they can have theirs too. I do this because these kids are what we call Tombangs Nongrose. They are the root of the bamboo. They are our future. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to present CNN hero Piamin Nguyen.
I'm so glad for, I'm very happy to be here. But for, I would like to thank to CNN for organizing such a great event. This means the world to me. On behalf of children of Cambodia who would have allowed to come with me to LA, I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I would like also to dedicate this award to my mom who passed away when I was 15. I know she is watching me now. In that short time I spent life with her, she was able to teach me the value that made me who I am today. She is my hero. I would like to give a special thank you to my family, to Mariana, to Angie, my daughter, and to Steve, my beloved husband, who is intelligent, supportive, thank the beginning, and always stand beside me every step of the way. I love you. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Please continue to support my work and the children who need help in the world. Thank you. Still to come, Meg Ryan and Forrest Whitaker pay tribute to more extraordinary honorees. CNN Heroes, an all-star tribute, sponsored by the Johnson & Johnson Campaign for Nursing's Future. Nurses, you make a difference every day.